TextWipe presents the Clean Room Wiping Guide for the Clean Room Door in a step-by-step -step process. The first step, select your product. Choose one of TextWipe's dry wipers and a cleaning solution, or select a pre-wetted wiper. The second step is the recommended wiper folding technique. Fold the wiper in half. Fold the wiper in half again to create a quarter folded wiper. Step 3. Spray the dry wiper or use a pre-wetted wiper. Using a pre-wetted wiper gives the advantage of a uniform and consistent wetness level. Less products go into the clean room environment and less particles are released into the air during the spraying process. Step 4. The wiping technique. The door cleaning process should start at the top including the door frame. Continue along the sides of the door, wiping the wall surrounding the frame, the frame edge, and then the flat face of the frame. Wipe in one direction, from the top to the floor. Refold the wiper after each stroke. Wipe the hinge from top to bottom. Continue with the door closer. Wipe the top and bottom of the connector. Wipe the top member of the closer, top and bottom. Followed by the lower member, top and bottom. Be sure to wipe all the parts and small crevices as well as possible. Wipe every surface of the cylinder, including the ends, working from top to bottom. Fold the wiper as needed. Discard the wiper when all of the clean sides are used. The next part of the door to be cleaned is the window. Begin by wiping the top part of the frame, followed by the sides and bottom. Wipe inside the frame edge, covering part of the glass, working from top to bottom. A new wiper surface should be used for each stroke, approximately every four feet. Clean the door handle fixture, starting at the collar, moving out along the handle. Clean the inside, top and bottom edges, ending with the front face of the handle. All areas of the handle need to be wiped. Depending upon the size of the handle, the wiper may need to be refolded to utilize its different surfaces. Wipe the top of the door starting near the jamb to the outer edge. Continue around the exterior edge from the top to the floor. The last parts of the door to be cleaned are the inner sides of the door, the leaf and hinge knuckles, and the inner door jamb. Refold the wiper. Make sure all of the door frame surfaces are cleaned. Work from top to bottom. Refold the wiper after each stroke. The bulk of the door surface will be cleaned when you mop the walls. Use unidirectional, parallel, overlapping strokes and move the mop from top to bottom, working in one direction along the wall, including the door. Let us review. 1. Select the product, a dry wiper and a cleaning solution or a pre-wetted wiper. 2. Use the recommended wiper folding technique. Folding the wiper allows the use of several sides, increasing its efficiency of use. 3. Spray the wiper. Use a pre-wetted wiper for a consistent and uniform wetness level. 4. Wiping technique. Start with the door frame, moving from top to bottom. Clean the door hinges. Continue with the process by cleaning the door closer assembly. Moving to the door window, frame, and glass. Wipe the door handle. 
Clean the exterior edges of the door, starting at the top and moving down the sides. The last parts of the door to be cleaned are the inner sides of the door, the leaf and hinge knuckles, and the inner door jamb. Remember to mop the door surface while mopping the clean room walls. Exit the room and use the same technique for the door exterior. For more information on supplies for wiping and cleaning, visit TechSwipe at TechSwipe.com or call us at 1-800-TECHSWIPE.